What's up dudes, Kublai Khan here and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our Child of Adam Ghoul build. So, we are currently in the northern part of the map, just ran around this station, forgetting what it's called off the top of my head. We are at Satellite Station Olivia and we were on our way to the Ten Pines Bluff because that was just gonna get us the Corvega plant thing and then we could finally get Preston to move down to the, you know, the drive-in. Um, one thing here is that we're looking for our fusion cores, and there is a fusion core in this particular station, plus, there is a mission here that we are actually kind of doing. So, this is something that was brought up before. When we're playing in survival mode, when we complete a, a mission, we have to actually return the mission to somebody. And that's a bit of a problem, uh, if you think about it. Like, in survival mode, you have to walk back to Preston Garvey at the top of the map. I mean, sure, you can move them down lower if you want to do Minutemen quests, but what about when you're trying to see characters who are hidden in really far off places? And you have to go to a guy, drop off a... I mean, let's take a Minuteman mission. Uh, Corvega Plant, right? Uh, go to Corvega Plant, fight Jared the Raider. Go back to Ten Pines Bluff, turn in mission. Go back to Preston, turn in mission again. Like, it's... Or in this case, it was go to Preston, go to Ten Pines, go to Corvega, go to Ten Pines, go to Preston. A lot of back and forths that aren't really that fun to do uh, and that's that's a bit of a problem that exists uh, maybe they'll streamline uh, how to turn in whoa hearing shit maybe they'll streamline how to turn in quests but one-handed oh. over the back of the head uh oh dog <laughs> Well, that didn't kill the dog, but we do have a second swing, so they shouldn't hear. That was amazing, that one-handed over the head hit. Anyway, you know, it's like, that's a problem. How do we turn in these dudes? And so it's, you know, I'm not 100% sure how to do that and how the game, they're going to find a way to do it. I feel like you what could maybe radio in, turn in, like, that would be a thing to do. Like, but otherwise, you no, know, you can't fast travel to do it. So it is problematic. Nothing there now. Alright, once at one point we'll have a like a silenced weapon, but until then, taking handcuffs and that kind of thing. So, uh, I was making a joke about this part right here with these hands. Uh, one of uh, you actually brought up radioactive raven. In fact, was the commenter who did brought up, and she mentioned she was like, yeah, you know, um, that uh, those are people who just cut, had their hands cut off, and that's what happened to them. And I was just like, ew, crap. I uh, was making fun of this person. And they had their hands removed. Ooh, come on, give us some more antibiotics. Uh, so, that's a bit of a darker thing than what I was making jokes about with the Nita hand. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We got a person that we can surprise. Man, this is working great. Using sneak attacks to get through and take a lot of these guys out without causing too much of a problem. Do you get leather for breaking these down, I wonder? Lightweight hardened. Boom. We got ourselves a fully covered character. That's nice. Man, that baseball bat looks terrifying. Also, I painted it red because I like red. All right, we got our fusion core right there, but we don't have to lock it in there yet. Um, but we got Ak Ak that we got to deal with soon. We have some amazing mines and things as well. So we might be able to actually draw Ak Ak over here. Let's throw a mine. Yeah, I like this idea. Well, I don't know how much I like it, now that I think about it, because I don't want to use a mine on someone who doesn't need it. Ak Ak needs it. I'm cool with that. We're actually already using revolvers. No, thank you. Duct tape's going to be nice. Let's see. How much ammunition have we picked up for 10 millimeter? None. God. That's not cool. Uh, 5 millimeter round. Good. That's what I wanted. Hammers aren't really useful for a character, because they don't have any oil really to them. More 5 millimeter rounds. More 5 millimeter rounds. It's as if somebody here has a machine, or a giant, ooh, sensor mode. It's as if somebody here uses a minigun. Who could that be? All right, battered clipboard. You're not Ak Ak. Fragmine, Raider, Ak Ak. Okay, we can actually take Ak Ak out from here. You know what, let's do that. Back off a little bit. Someone there? We're in caution. And throw. Raiders burning. 
Probably just, if I have to, we'll look just, oh, Akak's still alive. You're not Whoa! Not Whoa, not good! Not good! Okay, we're, uh, mine, mine, mine. Throw mine over there. Cool. Run through the door. Cool. Turn around. Got him. Oh. Woo! Got that one. Okay. Uh, we have more mines that we can use. So we're gonna be smart about these more mines, and we're gonna use them right now. Bottle cap. Up. All right, we can watch through the window and see if anybody's taking up the stairs. We're okay. Actually, we're really okay. Fuck you, Akak. We're a little thirsty. Let's have some water. In the middle of this fight, <laughs> just chugging water as fast as you can. We have a dirty water. Still not good, but we should have a bunch of melons. Properly hydrated. Oh. Shit. Okay. Um, we got another Molotov. Woo! I think we got him. Yeah, we're good. Let's pick up that bottle cap and get out of here. Yeah. God, that was frightening. Uh, ooh, and got another Molotov. Man, Molotovs are amazing. I love these. Just taking enemies out. Boom. Now we've got our fourth core. I don't need your minigun. Your spike armor. Do I want that? No, only 10? Oh, no, I don't. No, it's only 10. Um, tempered raider left arm. Road leathers for potentially more leather if I break it down. Cool. Okay. That's uh, that's basically all the major enemies that we're going to run into here. Ooh, that's right. Boo! Oh, it didn't open. Oh, it's my favorite part. Oh, now we're tired, too. Jeez. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk around here, collect some stuff that's useful, and I'll jump back to you in a second. All right, so we have entered here. We got the locket. We now have some rad roaches we're gonna be able to shoot. Hopefully, we'll be able to set this on fire. There we go. Kill off the rad roaches, at least most of them. Learned from our intro character about what can happen here. Good thing to do. So, a uh, couple of nice things are in here. Just general meats. Um, <gasps> ow. Holy crap! Oh my god, it's a legendary red roach! Whoa! Whoa, it's scary and... Gah! Oh, I've been infected! Jesus! I'm being infected by an illness because of stupid legendary red roach. On the flip side, hooray legendary... That's pretty cool. Enhanced. Okay, hold on. Unfortunately, it's removing one of our good other things that we have. But... 10% decrease in vats? I mean... Okay, so let's see. We have a left arm raider for... Oh, God. That's... That's... That's nothing. Oh, that's fine. I mean, we might be overweight now, though. All right. Stim pack properly hydrated. Nice. We got a legendary drop. Man, that legendary rad, rad rush was big. I uh, was scared. I was like, what is that gigantic... Ah! Oh, now we're sick. That's right. So, we actually just picked up um, an antimicrobial thing. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this quite yet. And let me sh point it out. So we're going to this. Um, looking for the herbal something something. Here we go. We can resist infection and parasites. Which right now we... Oh, we're suffering from fatigue? That's... I'm actually fine with having that particular one. Where we require more sleep. I think that's okay. Um, I mean, comparatively... Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't, like... Hardly even need right away in the like... Because I'm a ghoul. All right. Jump out. Not a legendary rad roach. But uh, the last one was Intel. That's right. With the Intel key, which we can get a bunch of cool stuff from in that room. Uh, don't really need it. much of the other stuff in here. This is cool. We're going to have a sweet... Oh, bummer. I was really hoping for more antibiotics. Uh, we're going to be able to have a sweet upgrade to most of our equipment that we're currently wearing. Uh, we now have this legendary drop, yeah, which I've been feeling like there's a lot less legendaries in survival. Probably, I could see them being like, okay, legend, you know, it's gonna be, legendaries are really scary, uh, in normal play, you know, but at one point in normal play, you just get excited whenever you see a legendary, because you're like, what, what are they gonna give me? This is so exciting, is it gonna be really good? Terminal. Gotta find the terminal, I am the terminal! Uh, alright, we're not gonna pick up the mini nuke. I know it has, like, stuff in it that's useful from the point of view of somebody who is, you know, a trying to collect more of the power of Atom. Oh, that's right, Bingo. the sneaky thing. 
but uh, it's not actually going to be as useful for us because we're not we're picking up fusion cores, you know? We're, we don't want to cause these big explosions. I'm not picking up as nearly as many guns anymore because it's just like I, I mentioned it before, you don't really need them. 10 millimeter rounds, mines, ported pipe auto rifle. Interesting. I'm going to drop some things and uh, I think I'm going to start doing some editing. I got to take advantage of the actual <coughs> Okay, we're getting sick. One sec. Okay, as I was chatting, the thing, uh, I'm gonna just walk slowly because I wanted to work on the armor bench and so I'm carrying a bunch of extra weight that I don't necessarily need. But, uh, I wanted to go to the discussion on how I've been incorrectly locating certain junk. I haven't been using the search function. And that's something in survival mode I think is now super vital because you don't want to be picking up things that you don't need since you have to, you know, it's harder to shuttle stuff back and forth. Okay, so I was able to learn that uh, some raider stuff can actually be turned into leather when you're breaking it down and you're scrapping it. Character's tired from lack of sleep. Oof, that's not fun. I mean, our character kind of is suffering from fatigue right now. Now here's another thing related to survival mode. When I talked about storing weapons and the like, or excuse me, when I talked about storing, uh, like, traveling and returning missions so our character is going this way right but then i'm imagining we would come down here hit corvega assembly plant and then come back up in this giant circle because we can save stuff up and actually what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and then go here because then i'll be able to you know sell a bunch of ammo and things that i don't need or potentially go here and straight back to sanctuary to store up a lot of the items that i've carried and i think that there's a you know a value to that because, like, our character isn't really building anything, so carrying extra junk isn't as, as needed as always, but I still have that habit. <laughs> so I'm what I'm thinking the next step, the biggest next step, is to identify truly, and I talked about the tag for search thing, what items do I really need for searching? And what items do I not really need for, while I'm searching? God damn it, you doggy! Take your meats, yes. Whoa, another doggy! Okay, hold on, let's switch to the pipe revolver. I missed. Got him. Ow. God. <laughs> take your bottle cap. I'm actually not gonna take any, or, okay, I can still take the meat. Another wild mongrel. Anything cool over here? Got a couple fridges. Ceramic. Rum bottle, useful for water. Wild mongrel, just taking a nap. Now taking a bullet to the side. Perfect. I hear one running around. Up, oh, Alpha. Alpha wild. Go over the face. Oh, God. Okay, we actually should be able to kill it with this amount of ammo that we have left here. Uh oh, no. No, I was wrong. One more shot should do it, though. Nice. S the VATS decrease is pretty sweet. That's given us another shot in VATS. That's very nice. And we're too much to run. But we do have a save right here. Well, let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Boom. Overtired from lack of sleep. Okay, well, that's okay because we have something that helps with that. Nuka Cola. Nuka Cherry also caffeinates. Gives us more health. Take that. Not overweight anymore either. That's pretty cool. So, we're still very tired, but uh, we're now less tired. And uh, we have the caffeine going. Plus, we have a save that we can pop right there. Ooh, we got... Oh, this is sick. We got a guy who can sell sense. stuff too. So this kind of sucks. This guy actually has a champion left arm. We have plenty of money to buy it. 15, nine. <sighs> but I really like this Vats boiled left arm. However, that has much higher for damage resistance. So I might buy it just for that reason. This is why ammunition is so cool to keep around. I mean, I've been able to sell and buy a lot of really high quality stuff real quick. We have new champion leather legendary stuff i mean we are currently overweight but I actually lowered the total weight that my character has to deal with this is less and more protection also gives me excess ap some pretty sick bonuses that have been applied to our character because of us finding this guy and being able to use our ammunition now we have 168 of 185 pounds we're wearing an army helmet i mean our, and fashionable glasses. We look sweet. Hold on, let's put on our sick glasses too. Or we actually, I ended up going with the, um, instead of the just eyeglasses, I wanted to go with the patrolman glasses. 
So we got this kind of, uh, yeah. Yeah, I look like a legitimate fighter now. This is pretty sick. Oh, let's get a good look at me. Oh, yes. That's cool. Plus, we have the extra strength and agility associated with this. Our character has received a huge buff. 56 protection. Okay, I'm so super excited and surprised because we were playing around with like, I don't know, 15, 20? So that's really cool. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and talk to this guy. Get this mission so we can just at least do it when we're on our way. Excuse me. God, this guy is having some trouble getting up. All that new Coca-Cola you drinking? Don't worry. I really I'll like seeing our guy talk. Thanks. I think that's just, I love the ghoul face. I think that's really cool. That's pretty sick. I love that. So, I'm a little bummed out a bit on how we've designed our character. Now, this is partly because of us role-playing a character, right? So we wanted to make a ghoul with the ghoulish perk. But I am a little pumped out because you see how weary from lack of sleep. Look at that fatigue drop. Wow. Oh, God, that is... I'm walking really slow. Am I overweight? I am. I'm guessing that the more tired you get, you lose some strength. I lose two strength. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to take another nuka cola to uh, help with that because it'll wake us up a little bit. Caffeine in your veins. Sweet. We can move. And now I'm peckish. Well, we should make sure to eat too. Mole rat chunk. Boom. Another mole rat chunk. Properly fed. So, uh, because of how much I'm currently dealing with related to sleep, um, basically... Looking at this situation, right? We were going to go down to the plant and circle back up. I don't think attacking the plant's the right thing to do. I think we should head back to Sanctuary, get a nice nap, and then we can cycle back down this way. Actually, we can get a good nap here. You know what? We might be able to do this on the way. You know, that might work pretty well. And then we can also leave our stuff at the Starlight Inn because I'm considering that to become one of our main locations. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Cool. I'm... All right, we're, we're getting this circle thing to work pretty well. We have an understanding of how to basically manipulate it better. Now, check it out. Our 10 millimeter pistol is back in action. We have 80 something shots of it, uh, 83 shots available. Now we have way more of the pipe revolver pistol, for sure. I uh, really was liking using it, but I think this is still gonna be the better option. I mean, just looking, you know, once again at the stats as we upgrade, 37 damage and this was oh man and you know that goes up to like 42 yeah the 10 millimeter pistol is absolutely the right choice uh we do have a lot more 45 ammo right now which uh makes you know me feel a little bit more comfortable with the idea of using the revolver just because we have more ammo for it but we were doing just fine with the little pistol and then switching over to oh gotta kill some ghouls and then switching over to our other weapon, or, you know, the smaller one. So, there we go. But God, is it fun to fire a revolver. Though it's still a lot less strong, but still super fun. Character doing his ghouling killing. That's his job. Man, does he look like a military guy who is like a zombie killer, kind of? You know, like you see in a lot of those zombies movies, they're always dressed up, ready to go after them. Toy rocket ship, don't mind if I do. Hell. Oh, oh, it's a roamer. It's a roamer. Critical. Didn't kill it, and we're out of ammo. I'm guessing that's why I have to wait for a second. Or am I out of bats? Oh, God. Okay. Breathe. We're fine. Ah. Whoo, that was close. Switch guns. That'll work for reloading. Hey, Wonder Glue. I'll take that. Jesus. Takes a long time to reload that revolver, too. It doesn't give us enough extra damage to be worthwhile. It's better than the little 308, but... Oh, God! You know, I might end up... You That might be how I do this. I might drop the pipe pistol. Yeah, that might be the way to play this and use the revolver as our secondary weapon. That could be a good way to do it, as I'm doing right now. Pipe pistol again. Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, the railroad spot. Hmm. You know, we're sick, we're tired, 
Let's keep moving. I know there are more... Actually, you know what? I know there are more ghouls here. Our character kills ghouls. We're sticking with that. Jesus Christ, I didn't even see you. So that's how we gotta play. If that's how our character works, that's how we're gonna play our character. I wanna make sure that we stick with the roleplay to what we can. <gasps> Three antibiotics! Oh god, yes! That is amazing. Intelligence up too, that's pretty cool. Whenever I'm turning in a quest, I should just put on the lab coat. <laughs> just beef up as much intelligence as I can get. It gives you more experience, so it does make sense to do. Oh man, alright, here we go. Oh, for... Oh, that's a stalker. Please kill it. Jesus Christ! What is going on? Run! Just get out! What the hell? Oh, my character is sleepy. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Uh, Nuka Cherry, please. Thank you. Run like hell. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, check this out. My... Okay, for a moment, my, uh, the Nuka Cherry was actually providing as much, um, AP coming back. Oh, God. Okay, that's a feral ghoul. That's a stalker again. That's a ghoul. All right, so I'm, I'm more interested in this one here. Got it? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Duh. Luckily, it takes us back just to here. Uh, we had a near enough save, so that works for me. Still. Ow. Like... Jeez, that was a bit of a problem. I mean, we were definitely on our way, succeeding, rocking, and uh, but we got pretty screwed with that attack from those ghouls. And I mean, that goes back to how we play the thing and where we roleplay this character. The character's going after ghouls. I knew there were ghouls there. I didn't see any, but I knew they were there. So that's why I chose to go after. Otherwise, I would have continued on to the Sunlight Inn and we would have had uh, that we would have slept, but... That's just how we play the character. So we'll go back there. We'll remove the ghouls. We realize that they're stronger there. And maybe we'll, we have molotovs. We can use molotovs. We have grenades. We have some smarter things that we could do. Also, I was using the revolver, which is turning out to be less and less quality because that really slow fire rate. So anyway, dudes, our character's getting strong. We're getting there. We should be able to rock this pretty well. We're beginning to... Uh, we, we die a lot. Um, quite a few deaths this episode even. So... Still hard, but we're, we're starting to build up. So anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.